Hi, this is Ray Teresa with One Inspiring Woman, and today I am doing the angel cards for December 2022. Yes, here we go with the angel cards for December 2022. Um, <clears throat> I will tell you that the astrology for 2022, or December 2022, is good, bad, and kind of depends on where you come at it with your energy. But I guarantee you it's going to be making some amazing changes for each of us and allow us to kind of like clear out all of the old energy from 2022 and get ready for January 2023. Here we go. Okay, we got a whole bunch of them popping up here. So let's start out with December 1st, 2022. This is the 11th house, and this is all about community and kind of bringing in that energy of our community and where do we want to go in our world. Um, I guarantee you this is kind of coming up, kind of the overflow of kind of all of December. We've got year-end parties, um, holiday parties. We've got a lot of changes coming up, uh, coming up, up over the next few days, and this is a great time to kind of really think about our community. How does it not only affect us, but how does it affect everybody else. December 2nd, we have Athena, and this is all about how we think. This is kind of bringing in our thinking. What about our thinking would we like to change or upgrade or modify in some way? So what is it that you really require changing or upgrading on December 2nd? What is it? Um, for December 3rd, we have Gemini, and this is all about cross-pollinating. Um, we have a lot of energy and flow on December 3rd, um, so this comes in in a great way of kind of like, which way are you going to go? Are you going to go to the positive or are you going to go to the negative? Where are you flowing with this energy? Where is your energy flowing in December 3rd? So make sure that you are really making any corrections that you require doing. Make sure that you are looking at some new things for yourself and think about how um, your perception is changing because we've also got Neptune that's um, been in um, retrograde for a long period of time and now he's coming out, he's going in that post shadow energy and so he's going to be really changing how it affects our dreams and our insights on things. December 4th, we have our moon, and this is all about our perception of changing. So this is December 4th. We've got our changing perceptions of things that we thought. So you may see open um, things change, kind of like opening your eyes in a different way or kind of opening up energy in a different way that you really haven't seen in the past. December 5th. Um, we have our first house, and this is all about the arrival. December 5th um, really doesn't have any great planetary energies. It does have some, but I will tell you that kind of one of the great things about December 5th is that it is a great time to kind of refocus your energy, kind of refocus what you're coming into, and um, it's one of those, where are we going to change? What are we going to do? How are we going to do things differently? So that's all about December 5th. Let's go into December 6th. This is about the south node, and this is all about the past. Um, and this is a really interesting one because we've got um, December this on December 6th, and we've also got Mercury going in to the sign of Capricorn. Um, and um, it will be retrograding in the sign um, later on this month, that, or pretty soon. So it's like getting ready for that energy. But one of the things I will tell you is that um, we've got this post-shadow um, energy of, of um, Mercury affecting us w along with Capricorn. This is our planet of communication will be kind of taking a long stride um, in Capricorn and bringing in communications and really focusing. This is a great time to really focus on clearing things out from the old, but also bringing up the past. This is going to be like that past year kind of coming back in and what do we want to say or how do we want to work through this energy. Let's go to December 7th. This one is um, December 7th. We have Pluto, and this is all about the rebirth. And this comes in. We've also got our full moon in the sign of Gemini. And so it's kind of like before we rebirth, we have to let go of the past. We have to be okay with letting all of that go so we can move into the future. And the past may be coming up to haunt us in this full moon, but it's okay as long as we keep moving forward and kind of getting ready for that new rebirth that's about to happen for us. Kind of that new energy. December 8th. 
we have the transit and this is all about the climate. The climate is to make some changes. The climate is all about making some really amazing changes, some maze, amazing upgrades to your energy and what's coming up next, kind of getting ready for that in this climate. This climate of December is kind of like letting things go from the past and moving into this amazing new energy. Um, let's go to December 9th and this is all about solar flares and this is about activations. Um, this is really coming in with a lot of activations. Um, this comes in with some energy on this day too to kind of think about like our finances, um, our business, um, our structure, kind of our careers, where do we want to go? And we've got in, um, a lot of Capricorn energy coming in with this as well to kind of activate what are we willing to change um, modify an upgrade over the next four weeks. This energy stays around, but today is just about activating all of this energy moving in there. So next we have December 10th. December 10th is all about um, Taurus, and this is all about cultivating, cultivating changes, cultivating new energies. Um, kind of what are you ready to kind of nurture and bring forward? What is it today on uh, December 10th that you're ready to nurture and bring forward? Um, December 11th, um, this is the root of the energy, kind of December 11th, kind of we've got our energy portal tomorrow, but it's kind of like today is kind of staying in that energy and amplifying things up, pushing this energy um, into some new realms for us and kind of really getting ready for what's coming up next, um, taking some time to kind of follow those roots. One of the big things for energy tomorrow is doing a great grounding meditation. You could start today kind of getting in that super amazing grounding energy. Um, December 12th, we have Saturn. This is our structure. Um, and our December uh, 12th, uh, energy portal is open up today and this is all about the structure what are we going to structure differently than we did last year what are we going to bring in that we didn't bring in last year what are the things that we want to change that we didn't change last year this uh, this one is all about kind of bringing in new energy new um, insights for us and kind of that amazing energy of where are we going what's coming up next how do we want to fix this how do we want to modify this energy this is going to be a great one. Um, let's go to um, December 13th, and this is Jupiter, and this is all about the abundance, the abundance of changes that we can make this month, but also thinking forward into the next month, um, into the next year. The abundance never shifts with um, Gemini, or with Jupiter. It's always coming in. It's always kind of this very activated um, energy coming in. Let's go to December 14th. This is um, December December 14th, we have Scorpio, and this is all about investigating. What is there that you've got to investigate? What is it that you wanted to look up and research and kind of study? Maybe there's a new book to read. Maybe there's a new class to take. Kind of researching that, kind of investigating what's coming up personally for you is a really great thing, especially since we just had that energy portal, kind of pushing that energy of where do we want to go? What do we want to change? What do we want to modify? What do we want to do differently? That is going to be a really good one. Um, let's see, I lost my count. Two, three, four, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Here we go. That's what I thought it was. Okay. Uh, December 15th, we have Chiron, and this is our healer. This is our amazing healing energy coming in really, really fast and quickly to change things, to modify, to upgrade. This is not a lot of people think, oh my gosh, this is horrible energy. No, it's not. All of this is coming in to make you a better you. And if you're holding on to anything um, that you should be letting go of, it's time to now to heal that part. Heal that energy so you can keep moving forward. Definitely. I thank you so much for joining me today, and I know that we'll be talking again soon.